welcome back to another week in my life video this is a good old one hour week at home we have some serious facebook marketplace drama just wait you guys will never be able to guess i decide randomly at 4 p.m on a monday that we're redoing the living room we make a lot of progress and i somehow become a micro bakery i think i baked like seven loaves this week it's out of control. It is. Anyways, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Hi, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I have two things to say. The first thing is that our new recipe journals are now out for my home brand friend of mine. I love these. I have been working so hard on friend of mine. We have so many upcoming drops in the next couple of months that I'm so, 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 so excited for. And I just love these journals so much. So I wanted to let you guys know that they are available. This one I'm going to turn into my sourdough recipe journal. Um, they're the best gifts, table of contents, measurements and conversions, breakfast, lunch, dinner, treats and drinks. There's four different sections in each um section has pages like this to where you can write down your own recipes it's amazing to have everything in one place it's so great to also not be on technology in the kitchen it's great to pass down one day it's an amazing gift to give i think this is so cute and these are more like masculine unisex so they're a great gift for anyone in your life and i just love them i'm so happy with them and i'm just so proud of them so if you guys are interested they are available now the second thing I wanted to say is we are going to be doing a big giveaway of all of this PR. The main jumbo hair waver. We've got journals. We've got Kapari. We've got Summer Fridays. We've got Lumi. This stuff is so good. I just have so many of them. We have Kendra Scott jewelry. We have Alice Brooklyn. We have a living proof. We have love wellness we've got a lot of things in here all you have to do in order to enter this giveaway is subscribe to our podcast youtube channel i just uploaded the first podcast that we recorded with my new video production team in dallas and it looks unbelievable if you guys like my youtube videos you will love the podcast youtube channel um and i really want to grow that channel so subscribe go leave a comment on some of those videos if you guys are new to the podcast the episode i would recommend is one we just posted and it's 13 best pieces of life advice that have dramatically improved my life we're also doing a little house guest glossary on there so if you are new you guys can kind of get up to date on the podcast and like all the lore and all of that stuff if you guys like my youtube vlogs you would love the podcast potentially even more the podcast is better honestly anyways in order to win all of this pr go subscribe to that channel and then comment your all-time favorite podcast episode and what you want to see more of this giveaway will go on for two weeks and then i will pick a winner I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if y'all are new here and let's get started with the video. Hi y'all, happy Monday. Welcome to another week in my life vlog. It is Monday at 5 p.m. I'm just now talking to the camera. I worked out, I cool plunged, I sauntered, and then I spent the majority of the day editing so much video footage. I edited a vlog and then moved a ton of friend of mine stuff. I was just on my laptop all day long. Um, I'm about to make my lunch, even though it's 5 p.m. Sakara sent me meals for the week. This is not sponsored. They just sent me them to try it. I've tried them once before when I was living in the townhome and I really liked them. I also did a little bit of Facebook Marketplace shopping today and I found some amazing stuff. I'm trying to redo my living room and I've realized one, I'm not spending $10,000 on new furniture. Two, I want my home to feel very lived in and eclectic and I have a very specific vibe, a very specific vision, if you will. Nancy Myers inspired, obviously. And a lot of those pieces actually can be found on Basic Marketplace. My dream chair currently that they're not responding to me, so I don't know if it's still available, is only $85 right now. Like, I'm finding the best stuff. I always find the best stuff on Basic Marketplace, but now I'm like really locked in and I'm wanting to redo my living room, which I've been wanting to do for the longest time, but I just, I gotta get it done. So anyways, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. I'm gonna eat my dinner, lunch, whatever this thing is, and we're heading out soon. Here's my quick outfit of the night. This is on top, jeans are Levi's, my favorite Madewell belly flats, my coach bag, just because I've been throwing everything in here. I just opened an Olipop. I have my $8, like, I have my $8 Target t-shirt on. Um, this necklace I think is SC Collection. And these I, Valve Jewels. This is my favorite drink. 
Okay, hi y'all. Macy and I are reunited after 24 hours apart. I, I literally was like, wait, how was your 24 hours away from me? Not that great? <sighs> I was kind of in a fever dream of a haze this weekend. Of a haze? Like, I wasn't in the best attitude. Oh, it was a hard weekend on us all. Yeah. You too? For the same reasons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can um, I just say that, like, when someone comes into one of our lives... They come into all of our lives. They come into all of our lives. And when they leave We're our lives... We're like sister wives. And when they leave our lives, they, they leave, leave all of our all lives. Of our lives. So and it's hard. We all It's been mourn. a hard weekend of processing, but <laughs> it's, onward and upward. It's been a lot of processing, you know? <laughs> a lot of processing. A lot of processing. Um, but tonight, Macy, we're actually going to the Hallbacks. It's like so crazy. I still call it, say Kylie Ross. Did you say hold, hold back? Back? Back. Bees. Did I say bo box? You said back. I don't know, guys. That's not what I meant to say. I Sorry, know. I never want to be. I do know that. Okay. Background, actually, for the YouTube viewers, Kylie and Bronson and I are all from the same hometown. So, I had a good thumbnail. I was just trying to give you like a like. All from the same hometown. <gasps> Anyways, and I'm presenting a presentation. Um, do you think it's good? Maisie, I think it's gonna be so good, but I don't think anything that you can, I don't think you can do something bad. Really? Like, you don't think it could be funnier? No, I think it's really good. Okay. I think that one clip of Bronson dancing is gonna take it away. But it's not, I need mean, like you've gotta make sure clip. that it's in there. It's a targeted video. Bronson and Macy are having a PowerPoint off, deciding if we're gonna watch Dancing with the Stars this season or Survivor. And it's like, even mm -hmm. if we don't watch it with them all season long, I just wanna make sure they know She's just like bringing awareness to the franchise yeah. because they kind of need it. And like, do you think I'm doing this for free? No, Dancing with the Stars is actually like this really underground show that yeah. not I many discovered. people know about. And Macy actually discovered it. Yeah. And produced it. And choreographed it. Yep. So. Exactly. Which is like why she's so like Such passionate. A, yeah. She's an advocate. You're a Dancing with the Stars advocate. No, I am. I'm not this active about anything else. <laughs> <laughs> not an advocate for like anything else like no. this. So. Only the important things like dancing with the stars. No, literally, like Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We're going to We're going to Trader Joe's. Oh, because I'm gonna make jalapeno cheddar sourdough again. And there's this like specific jalapeno thing that I wanna get at Trader <gasps> the sweet, Joe's. The hot and spicy yeah. ones. Oh the hot and sweet ones, you guys. I oh my god, these are the best things ever. I put them on everything. They're not spicy at all. You really need to make sure the drain need to make sure to drain them because like the juice can be a little well, I would have to do no I know you would have to for sourdough but oh my god they're so good I put them on avocado oh my god avocado toast I put them well it's gonna be in your sourdough I know right? that's so exciting it's not too spicy because sometimes I'll have like jalapeno bagels and it's way too spicy because you get the full seeds and everything these aren't too spicy they're so good it's like hot honey meat jalapeno oh my god they're so good love so that it's hot and sweet yeah hot and sweet Guys, they're so good. Hot and dangerous. dangerous. If, if you're, you're one, one of us, us then roll with us. us. And I also put them in my uh, tuna salad. Ooh, so good. that's good. There's so many things about you that I somehow don't know. What? Oh, the tuna salad. <laughs> <laughs> one day we'll reveal the tuna salad. We have to tell the tuna salad story. Tuna salad game. I don't care who goes down with it. I really <laughs> don't care. Like, that story has to be told. <laughs> Tuna gate needs to be talked about. Tuna gate does need Guys, I have a price that I'll reveal some stories. Okay, what's the price? Mm. Like, they're not gonna pay it. Put it out there. <laughs> 10k? Okay. Okay. I feel good about that. Yeah. <laughs> Go fund me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. We're off. I feel so, like, proper. It's 84 degrees out, but don't worry. This is what I'm wearing. It's fine. I just grew up watching the show and you know there was a lull and I stuck around for it and it's been really cool to see what happens with consistency and what happens when you stick around. You know those views have really been up in recent years and it's because of some strategies I'll get into today but that's my cause for Dancing with the Stars. Preach off personality, spunk. Standard. You're not going to hear oh, much yeah. policy. You're not going to hear much uh, action. All right, go so, for her personally. Yeah, so. yeah, just for something. We're going to have Justice and Spencer really feeling a part of Kane Brown. I know that that was a really big night for them. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! And in a time where the country feels so divided, why not come together and vote for good? Yeah. Watching this video. 
Please vote Macy. Wow. <laughs> it's the right thing to do. It's an election season. You know we have a right choice. Mm. Macy for president. Dancing with the Stars 2024. And while you're at it, vote for Brandon and Chandler. And while you're at it, never vote for Bronson a day in his life. <laughs> <laughs> Survivor's been going on for 46 seasons. 47. <laughs> the season that Survivor started, my grandma was 12 years old. <laughs> She's dead now. So I need you to go ahead. Instead of letting it go to trial. Okay, so we have an offer. <laughs> we are prepared. A plea deal? A, no, oh. no, it's an offer. Thought, it's okay. different. Um, we are going to offer you Dancing with the Stars Tuesday night. In return. Wait, does that sound good? You like that? So are you far? following me so far? Because it seemed like everyone was really <laughs> Everyone's really confused. <laughs> but, wait, now we have to decide who's going to bring the first exotic snack. I have an idea. I think <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. So it is seven something. I'm ready for the day. We're actually gonna go film some mini mic videos, which I'm like a little bit nervous for. I'm trying, as we've talked about, to dress in a more mature manner, but I just feel like half the time I look like a substitute teacher. Like, if you don't understand that it's supposed to be, like, chic and classy, it's giving substitute teacher, you know? Like, I don't know, but I do like it. You just have to see it with the right eye. There are these belts from Madewell that I need. They're, like, brown suede studs. They're so sold out. And I just can't. I need to leave in 10 minutes, so maybe these and just go a little more Western, less substitute teacher. Where are my vintage Harleys? Who has my vintage Harleys? Oh my god, someone took them and I've never gotten them back. These are the Savannahs from Tacovas. They're so sick. Last night we had that entire debate for Dancing with the Stars or Survivor and Macy won. But Bronson keeps saying that they came to an agreement. But we're watching Dancing with the Stars. And guys, it turns out they're not even airing on the same night. Like, we didn't even need to do that. So anyways, we have Dancing with the Stars tonight, but I already have like four other plans, so I have to figure that out. <sighs> Not these either. <sighs> substitute teacher it is. No, it's giving chic, okay? Not substitute teacher. Y'all, all that for nothing. I think the shoot is canceled. It was supposed to start like 20 minutes ago, and they're not here. So, I am going to try to make good use of my time. I skipped my workout this morning, which is like what sucks. I still have to work out. I feel like I just wasted a lot of time. I'm going to go try to pick up a Facebook Marketplace table. I don't think it's going to fit in this car, but it's out. And like, I might as well at least give it a shot. I have an hour until my next meeting so we're gonna stop at the antique store my phone is blowing up right now with facebook marketplace messages because i have so many i have so many going out because i'm spontaneously redoing my living room it's not even spontaneous i've been wanting to do it so we're gonna stop in here because i did get my ottoman in my closet room here and i love their stuff this one is definitely expensive so we'll see <laughs> Anyways, I'm actually about to get on therapy. My dad and I went to pick up two chairs on Facebook Marketplace that were so cute. 
and we got to the house and it was just kind of like an odd odd vibe okay and then we got to the chairs and like the house i there was just like something going on and it didn't smell great and now i'm realizing why at facebook marketplace they always put like pet free but i just have never had this issue and i'm actually like a big facebook marketplace customer so we got in there and my dad's definitely like all right let's not get these chairs because it like horrible even like saying this but it was like a very 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 bad bad smell i've never smelled anything worse in my life so what do i do i panic and i give them the money i take the chairs at this point for some reason it hadn't crossed my mind the chairs are gonna smell really bad i'm just thinking i need to get out of this house and then we take them we put them in the car and i'm like oh my god i see my dad get in the car and he's like what are the fuck are you doing like it was guys i'm not kidding i was like i'm gonna throw up and i am very like i'm not someone who like gets like overly grossed out or overly freaked out by things like really at all and by the time we got back i'm like there's no way that i can save these chairs so i'm donating them immediately so i'm out the money i'm out the time um but i learned my lesson i just panicked like i i panic purchased i i felt bad because the guy was waiting for me and here's the thing he gave me the option he's like do you feel good about these like do you want them but I felt like because he was waiting for me to come over, like I had to buy them, you know what I mean? I really didn't have to. I could've just been like, oh, they're too big. Which, and my mom kept saying that she doesn't think that they're good for the space. But like, guys, it, oh my God, it was so bad. And I just panicked, I just panicked and I got it. So anyways, you know, I'm glad I could get them off his hands and hopefully now someone else will be able to use them. Maybe someone else will like use the wood or reupholster or something, I don't know, something. Not very good. But anyways, I did get this table, which is perfect. Um, I really like it over there. I'm washing the rug right now. And hopefully tonight, I will have my new couch picked up, which is what I am the most excited for. So I'm gonna eat and get going, guys. I just, like, I should have just said no. I should have just said, oh, I'm okay, thank you. Like, I should have done that. I learned my lesson. I've just never had, like, that experience with Facebook Marketplace. Honestly, I, in the world's biggest advocate for Facebook Marketplace, my algorithm on there is the best algorithm. No one talks about that. It's always for you page this, explore page this. No, Facebook Marketplace, oh my God. Like if I, it's a good thing that I have to drive like an hour for most of these things to buy them because then like I'm not just like buying 24 seven, but they have the best stuff and they have, they know exactly what I'm gonna like. Like just going through that, it's amazing. Hey, hello. So we're at 3% gas. 20 miles, so we'll just get it after. <laughs> okay. Right? Oh, we're like so patriotic today. I love it. That's so cute. So what'd you get for our exotic snacks? Oh, guys. Sorry, I haven't told oh, them what we're I'll doing. I'm so sorry. My phone... I'm sorry. I brought a charger for you. It's no, but it's bag. my phone that's broken. And I've so no, it's not, Missy. Don't say that. Words create worlds. It is. Remember sorry. that. I'll be in a good mood for the vlog. Hello. No, it's not about being in a good mood for the vlog. You can be real and vulnerable here. Yeah, yeah. It's all about... Um, words creating worlds and your phone's not the problem it is it's been broken all day and it hasn't gone above 10. oh well you didn't say that and it's saying that i have water in the portal but i did like blow dry isn't it crazy that a new iphone launched two days ago it's so annoying and i have so much to do on it i have like three more things i need to get done before the work day and it won't charge um annoying. macy and i are on our way oh macy did win her presentation last night. Bronson would tell you that they came to an agreement, but Bronson saw Macy's presentation and how it was so much better than his. No offense, Bronson. And Macy won. So now we're watching Dancing with the Stars every Tuesday, and I'm really excited because I haven't watched Dancing with the Stars in probably since I was eight years old. It's the best show ever. Yeah, so I'm really, really excited. Oh, and it's Dancing with the Stars and Exotic Snacks, which I don't even really know what that means. So what snacks did you get? Cause she's also on snack duty. Cause she, oh, she I went lost. to World Market and I got some things. <gasps> that's the perfect place for exotic I know, snacks. I know. Okay, well that's exciting. Anyways, talk to you later. We start off with something that we know: lesser evil. Wow! Yes. Wow. I that's love so cool, Circle. Well, I got invited to one there. Event. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Space balls. That's crazy. Oh. That's oh. What's that that's exotic? Like, like pizza space balls. That's, that's so good. good. Oh. Wow. Pink candies. 
Whoa. Wow. First Fred Perkle. Yo, Fred. Fred. That's my snack hole. Wow. wow. Good job, Macy. That's cool, though. I like his jacket. Oh, this is very cool. Oh, my God. I like this. Lee, I, I love like this. <laughs> Wednesday and I made a mistake here. I'm already getting a new rug anyway, so it's okay, but don't worry about that. It's just wet. I don't know why it has this mark. I dried my rug and I shrunk it. I don't know why I wasn't thinking that. I'm about to go to my workout and the couch is going to be delivered while I'm at my workout and then I have two more chairs from Target to pick up today um, and we're kind of just going to like mess with things. I really love the look of one sofa, coffee table, and two sets of two chairs. I think it just looks really nice and cool. And I like when a living room feels more eclectic and not so like planned out almost. So I'm hoping that these chairs are kind of giving that. I might have to get a new coffee table. I don't know. I really, really wanted a chair and a half like in the corner right here to like sit there and lay there and read by the fireplace. But unfortunately, it's just not big enough and it's not gonna happen. I love this table here. I like that it adds wood because like the actual house is so like modern and I'm just not a modern really. I actually like, hate modern stuff now. So and we'll just see. I think this couch is going to be good. It's the one that I really wanted originally. I don't even know if I can talk about this on YouTube, but turns out it wasn't like cat urine that I thought I was smelling yesterday. Um, it was meth house. Okay, everyone was replying to my Instagram stories saying, Kenzie, that was not cat urine. That is what the meth house smells like. So anyways, Love that. That's where I take my poor innocent father. A meth house. I learned my lesson. All right, y'all. We are back and we have a lot of updates in the living room. The new couch has arrived. I got this off Facebook Marketplace for a really amazing deal and it's exactly what I wanted for a couch. I'm getting a new rug. I shrunk the rug from last night, so that had to go and we're gonna get a new one. This in that corner is going away. Like we'll get a different chair that matches the vibe and a table, like that table doesn't work either. So ignore that. This will be styled. I might get, that lamp's really big. I might get a different lamp there and I might replace the coffee table. I'm not quite sure yet, but I got these chairs actually from Target just now. They're really exactly what I wanted. Um, and I love them. I might get rid of that table. I don't know and also I just threw the pillows up there because I have so many pillow options But I think I'm probably gonna go without the pillow. The only thing is my Christmas tree is going up pretty soon and This area might be crammed. Can you tell if it's one's attention? So I don't know exactly what I'm gonna end up doing my dad said put the tree there But there's not gonna be room like that's way too squished and I like having it by the window. So we will figure that out. Um, maybe I just get rid of one of these for the holiday season, corner this, and then corner another one here. I don't know yet. I haven't quite gotten to that. Fitz right now is so cute. He's killing me. He's with the morning with my dad, so he's very happy. Yeah, I, I really like the chairs. Like They're exactly what I was looking for. All right, y'all, I have my coffee. I don't like how cluttered the fridge is. I need to do some unboxings. I've purchased a lot of things on Amazon just for my little home refresh, but even already, like, it looks better. It just looks more put together, and, like, it actually, besides the corner, once I get the perfect thing. I also have this thought this morning that I could always change these doorknobs out, so maybe that's another thing that we do. And that's just a way to make it not so modern. I mean, this is just obviously very modern looking. I wish this was wood. Like, I would give anything for this to be wood. I don't love the stuff that they chose. Um, the people who rented my house before I bought it. But, I mean, it's stunning. Just, like, not necessarily my style. Anyways, this is giving way more of my style. And I'm really, really loving it. Maybe I can... Oh! I can tuck these back this way. And then there's more room for the tree. I don't know. There's, there will not be room for the tree. Okay, I just got these books. 
and they're not real books, okay? They all have openings, so they're little storage things. I saw these on Amazon. I'll add them to my storefront or on my shop, my like under home, my living room page. But like so fun and great storage and also looks way better. So we're gonna put these over here eventually. I got some revolve clothes in. This will go over here somehow. I mean, obviously this isn't styled literally in the slightest. I got these fake plants. We'll see how I like them. I'm waiting for the base to come in. Um, but I want this to just feel very, very, very lived in. So I'll have other frames and other stuff. And at first I was gonna have this hung lower, but now I think I might just keep it with the, I, I don't know, like we'll see. I'm gonna redo this vibe. Still don't know what we're gonna do. I also got this for my sourdough so I can actually see my sourdough and everyone else can see it who comes over to my house and they'll be like, wow, Kinsey, you're, star you're a starter. No, you're not your starter. You're sourdough, like that's amazing. And I'll be like, oh my God, I can't believe you guys saw that. That's so embarrassing, let me hide that. You know what I mean? I'm still so obsessed with this bag. I got another charm that came in today. I need to get stuff to like actually put them on. But the problem is that this just like keeps coming undone and it's bothering me. Anyways, my kitchen feels very cluttered so I have to figure this out right now. I'm drinking my coffee. I filmed a TikTok about how I hate Derek Huff. If you guys are watching Dancing with the Stars, last night he rated Reginald and Eric a four. And like you actually have to be the Antichrist to give those men fours. Like that was sick and twisted and diabolical. There's really there's just no excuse for that kind of behavior. Like, I I don't put up with that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Sorry, I stand up for what's right. Um, yeah, I don't like him. I don't like him one bit. No, not one bit. So, anyways, I'm going to go edit my TikTok about how I really feel about Derek Huff because it's not good. I don't feel good literally at all. It's giving cozy once I get rid of this. Like, it's giving way more of what I wanted. I need to go online and pick out a new rug today. out the door right now I have had so many things come up in the past 30 minutes and I need to leave my house and I'm mid sourdough and we have a launch tomorrow and it's just been um, probably a busier day than it seemed on the vlog but I have the cutest outfit I like, really gotta leave the cutest outfit on right now this is revolve this is just Abercrombie um, Sam Edelman this bag so cute and we're off. My sourdough is ready to go. Good morning, y'all. I've been having the hardest time waking up the past two weeks. Like before, I was waking up at six regularly, going on runs. Like I've not run in the past two weeks. I've been doing like workouts and stuff, but like I don't know what is going on. It's just like my body like physically will not wake up. Also, I mean. I also have been staying up later because I've been doing things at night, but like still, normal people do things at night and wake up early. Like I don't know what is going on. It's like something that I cannot fix. So anyways, I'm about to put two loaves of sourdough in the oven and I'm actually gonna make some dough to have and like do stuff, make some dough for more stuff. Because I just like don't know what I would do with outfits. He's so perfect. You are so perfect. You are so perfect. Hi. Aww. I love you, Fitz. I love you, Fitz. I wish I could clone you. I wish that we could have 20 of you. You're so perfect. You're so perfect. Besides when you eat my sourdough. I didn't say that in the vlog, but I'm sure you guys probably saw my TikTok and Instagram. Fitz ate an entire loaf of sourdough that I baked for my family last week, so. We were not really speaking for a couple of days. I was really upset about that one, wasn't I? Because you don't eat sourdough. Sourdough's for humans. 
I know, you just wanted to see what it was all about. Anyways. This just feels right. I picked out a rug last night as well. I came home and I worked on the couch for a couple hours. It's so soft, by the way. This is the most comfortable couch I've ever sat on. The Foster Sisters, Aaron Foster's new show on Netflix. I think it's like Nobody Wants This. It comes out today, so. Gonna play that in the background. This is so exciting. They have my favorite podcast, World's First Podcast. It's a rom-com too. Guys, I'm really not trying to brag. I just got off some meetings um, with my sourdough of, you know, get you a girl who can do it all. Anyways, the new quality of the podcast YouTube channel this is insane. If you guys haven't listened to the podcast, this is the episode I'd recommend you start with. It's top 13 pieces of advice that have dramatically improved my life. And then we're also doing a little like house guest glossary. You can see at the end, I have all the chapters in. Um, kind of just explaining, getting you guys up to date on the lore of the show, things that I reference a lot, like the books, all the things, okay? But this episode, you need to go watch if you guys are coming from this channel and please comment and let us know that you came from my YouTube channel. But anyways, I'm just like so proud of the quality and overall production. It just looks so good. I'm so excited. All right, y'all. It is literally lit. What? It's 1124. The new recipe journals just launched. They are so cute. I've been so excited about these for so long. And I'm actually gonna make one of them a sourdough exclusive recipe journal. So I'm gonna have all of my like sourdough stuff and then also like discard recipes and everything in here, which will be like just so nice to have. I think they're just the cutest things ever. They're so perfect for the holiday season for gifts. Like they're just so amazing. So anyways, I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna prep some more dough for sourdough. I am kind of getting really down on myself. I'm like. It's 11.30, like why are you in your pajamas still? I've been working. I like took meetings and calls, but a sweatshirt over, so like you couldn't tell that I was still in my pajamas. Honestly, <laughs> honestly y'all, it's just one of those things where I have to listen to my body, okay? Because I'm just so run down. I'm obviously going through a lot. I think I'm just emotionally very drained and that's why I've been so tired. Like I just, there's something off. And I'm not gonna shame myself for it. Like I'm doing my best, and if you're in the same boat, you shouldn't sh shame yourself for it either. I just don't even know the, oh, the starter is definitely ready. Wow. I mean, look at that. It's so crazy. More than doubled this morning, love that. Also guys, making sourdough is really not that hard. Like if you start with that starter, granted I used a dehydrated starter, technically speaking, but it's really like not, the hardest thing in the entire world. If you guys are wondering how I make it, I do have um, tutorials like videos on my TikTok and stuff. I might post one to Reels. It's really not the hardest thing in the world. Like I promise you, once you like figure it out and you kind of like find your footing with it, it's actually quite easy. It's just time consuming. It's not time consuming for like the f all duration. It's time consuming in the sense that you have to do things like every 30 minutes for a while, so you kind of have to be around. This little wooden spatula, I use this 24, I was just using this for something else, I use it 24 seven. So this is the actual recipe that I use. I have this in my original recipe journal. Um, if you guys want to screenshot that, I would just recommend looking at my other videos. And this is, I kind of combined these two. So if you feel like in the two day one, it wasn't as, like I didn't go into it enough, it's because it's from the other one. Anyways, actually, I, I don't think anyone cares about my, my um, sourdough recipe here, so I will not bother you guys with the details. But yeah, I feel like dumb because I should have like worked out and I should have done this and I should have done that. And you know what? I'm doing my best, okay? And that's all I'll say about that. So anyways, the new Nobody Wants This Show, by the way, it's so good. Like. It is amazing. I'm so happy for Erin Foster specifically because I love her and she deserves this. And I love their podcast and I'm just so happy to see them get this. Wow. 
Yesterday, sourdough is in the fridge, and I'm off. Revolve is actually here. Look how cute my outfit is, guys. My set is Revolve. These shoes are Sam Adamant, and you guys probably have seen me talk about the shoes a billion times. This is Amazon. I know it looks a little weird with the strap, but the strap made it look even worse, and honestly, it's okay. Um, I wasn't wearing these sunglasses, but I guess I am now. I think this like little set is so cute, and then... The skirt actually matches, so I really like that. It's been a very productive day. I'm grabbing an Olipop for the road, but not my bag being up there. And my sourdough to drop off to the giveaway winners. I'm gonna do that after, which I'm really so excited for. The girls cannot wait. First is Revolve to share their pop-up in Dallas I'm excited about, so I gotta go to that. And then I'll drop these off. from my workout this morning and then I went to Sprouts. I just put a hair mask in. I'm feeling good. Today is gonna be like a cozy work from home day and I'm also baking. Oh, I'm currently baking sourdough. I'm gonna prep another loaf. I'm gonna make some chili and my dad is coming over tonight and we're gonna watch the new Aaron Hernandez documentary. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys a little Sprouts haul. I have been tagged so many times and sent by friends or followers or y'all or whoever it is. Um, in the gathered nutrition like pumpkin sourdough swirl loaf thing. I've been tagging it so many times So I actually got the stuff to make it today Organic pumpkin puree. I got four of those because I didn't know how many I needed. I also got this Silly cow farms hot chocolate mix just because the ingredients in this were really good So I was like honestly, I might as well try it You just add two teaspoons into your favorite mug and add some very hot milk. So I'm gonna try that out I got just a ton of stuff for the chili and for the sourdough. I feel like my vlogs have literally just become sourdough baking vlogs and it's like, okay, you guys are bored. Like I gotta, I gotta really, you know, do something there. I never buy like milk from the store. I rarely even get almond milk because I don't use it for much. And like I have creamer and whatever. Anyways, I got this Alexandre maybe, Family Farm organic milk because I wanted just normal milk for hot chocolate. I don't love like almond milks and things like that. I love Fairlife actually, like Fairlife is my ideal. I should drink one of those protein shakes actually. I'm gonna put these in the fridge, but these are the best protein shakes. The vanilla are even better than the chocolate. They're so good. I got two new coffee creamers. This is toasted hazelnut and then I got the pumpkin spice because it is fall. Meat for chili. Um, all this other stuff is really for chili. And then I also got these creamy peanut butter little snacks. I need to take everything off that fridge because it's giving cluttered now. And I don't like that. I don't want that at all. Anyways, I'm gonna watch SVU, get some work done, and I will chat with you guys later. <laughs> From later, but this pumpkin spice swirl, cinnamon swirl loaf looks absolutely incredible. I just cannot get over it. Smells so good. My entire house smells so good. Okay, y'all, we have a really large haul today, actually. Um, I'm going to Fort Worth this weekend, so some of my outfits are kind of crazy. So, by the way, this house guest crew is still available. Our merch crews, they're so cute. Um, I'll link them below. First thing I got, these are my first things from Heaven Mayhem. Well, actually, I also got this belt from Heaven Mayhem. And I'm so excited about this because this is my favorite color because it matches my favorite cowboy boots. I think I'm going to wear this this weekend in Fort Worth. I just love, love, love this stuff. Um, and then I got these two earrings from them. The first one are these kind of like gold plates. 
I've seen them on everyone. Heaven Mayhem, I feel like, is the really cool girl brand right now. I also loved, loved, loved these. I just thought they were so cute. So, very exciting. More jewelry, not Heaven Mayhem. This stuff is really cute. These earrings, I thought this was really cute. And then I think I probably already showed y'all this watch. But love. Now clothing. I got a lot of stuff, all right? I got some things from Revolve because I did that little pop-up. Okay, this is like messing up the lighting, so I don't know what's going on there, but I got these overalls that I think are so cute. I will definitely be wearing them next week. Like, look at how good these are. I think they're Levi, yeah. These are Levi's, and they're just this, like, brown, beige color. I love them. The Levi pockets, I mean, just so fun with those and then i also got this long sleeve which i'll probably wear underneath it it was fun and cozy you are my lucky like really cute and honestly perfect for under these overalls perfect for fall perfect 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 from abercrombie i got a couple things too these sweaters i got them in two different colors this gray sweater i mean hello it's perfect i think i'll get a lot of wear out of that and then i got the same one in blue which I also thought was so cute. This suede top, which honestly I should have gotten a small. It looks a little bit too big and boxy. I don't know if I'm going to love this. I should try it for Fort Worth and just see what I think about it. Um, but I do feel like it's just a little maybe too boxy. I don't know. Sometimes I put this stuff on and it really surprises me. So I'll throw that over there. And then I also got just this top, which I honestly should try too. Again, I feel like I should have gotten a small. It just feels too wide or boxy or something i don't know but maybe when i put it on it will look good and honestly that would look better with that outfit so that might be happening um and then i got these just like black these are brown why did i say black these brown um like trousers that are like these have to be super flattering on so i'm excited about those um, from Little Bird Trekking, I'm really excited. I got my friend Briley's brand. I got this hat. This is Trekker Hot. How cute. And then it came with this little pig. Pig? Guys, am I okay? It came with this little pin. All right. From Hill House, I got the most stunning, like, jacket. Look at how cute this is. I love just, like, structured jackets like this for the fall. I'm really excited to wear a top like this every single day with jeans and ballet flats or boots. Like, I just think these are so timeless and classic, and I'm so into that vibe right now. You guys already saw the Revolve fit that I wore this week. So cute. Another thing from Hill House, this long, like, maxi dress. I thought this was cute and kind of timeless looking, and I like it. I think I'll probably wear it maybe to church this weekend we'll see and then the last thing i got i'll share this just because i got some questions on it on tiktok i literally got this on tiktok shop it was the end of last week's vlog and i just i love this so anyways that is that um at the very end of this vlog i wanted to just do a little update on kind of how i'm feeling from last week's vlog i am feeling a little bit more stable i feel like i just feel a little bit more disassociated this week I just first wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of the love and the really nice comments. Like, I love y'all so much. Um, it's just been very, obviously, so difficult. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just really on top of everything hard on myself because I feel like I don't know if I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to, like, have good things happen in other areas of my life or if I'm just under a lot of stress. Like, running a business is a lot of work and it's really just me day to day. Like... Obviously, I have, like, freelance people and, like, designers and stuff, but, like, it's really me at the end of the day on top of everything else that I do, which is a lot, so... And the financial aspect of running a business and, like, I have put all the money in and it's just, like, it's it's very, very difficult. So, i just been very, like, down on myself and, like, I get excited and then I'm like, no, this isn't even possible or I'm just, like, a lot more... Not even negative, I guess negative, I'm trying not to be. It's just so hard when it's, like oh, like, everything will work out when it's, like, okay, like, my life has been the opposite of working out. Like, I used to be able to really trust, like, everything's going to be good, but it's, like, when worst-case scenario has happened and happened multiple times, like, it's very hard to really trust that it will and, like, good things will come my way. And I'm just trying my absolute best. It's very hard. But I did just want to pop in here and say thank you guys. I love you guys. Not that I want to talk about this stuff 24-7 on the channel because it would be a very depressing YouTube channel. 
Um, I'm just grateful for you guys on the internet and for all of your support always. And, like, every single time I even see, like, an Instagram comment, it really warms my heart. Like, literally a heart on my Instagram. I can't even describe it. It just makes me feel very like comforted but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i don't even i need to clean this up like this is actually out of control my closet has become quite the mess like there's just there's a lot going on here um and guys don't forget our recipe journals they're out now be sure to go check them out i love them so 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 much and i'm really excited for them so Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I will see you in my next video.